abuse does exist, uh, abuse exists, exists everywhere. As, as a maximum figure on, on steroids, you know, I, I like to, if you really want to discuss figures, I, I would say that the most I've ever taken, the most I would ever consider taking would be 100 milligrams a day. Okay? Uh, 100 milligrams is based upon my body weight and the type of steroid, uh, uh, steroids I take. I believe in anabolic therapy and not androgenic therapy. Guys, Dom here, back again from the Lee Sofa, and we are here with another one for you. Derek from More Plates, More Dates, Colin Tom Platt's a liar. Doesn't really matter. Let's dive right into it. But guys, like I always say, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers, and it means the world to me when you guys do it because I can't get there alone. It's gonna mean so much more to me if you just press the button. So do that for me if you can. Tom Platt. So he's an OG bodybuilder for those of you who don't know him. And as of recently, he actually spoke about the amount of anabolics that he'd taken in the past when he was training for Mr. Olympia. Now, a lot of people, Derek from More Plates especially, have been looking into this and not only do they call bullshit on it, but on top of their previous interviews of him recommending and telling people what his dosage is prior to that. And let's just take a look at what's going on. Tom Platts is one of the guys who's at the forefront of bringing transparency to the industry and even in his heyday was pretty open to discussing it in a public forum. Like here he was on stage literally talking about his peak weekly dosage. And abuse does exist, abuse exists, exists everywhere. As, as a maximum figure on, on steroids, you know, I, I like to, if you really want to discuss figures, I, I would say that the most I've ever taken, the most I would ever consider taking would be 100 milligrams a day, okay? Uh, 100 milligrams is based upon my body weight and the type of steroid, uh, uh, steroids I take. I believe in anabolic therapy and not androgenic therapy. So as you can see, Tom Platt's talking about using 100 milligrams of any given compound in a day, which is around 700 milligrams, which is still very low for someone competing on the Olympia stage. But fast forward to today, and let's see what he was talking about taking. So Winstrol, 20 milligrams a day. So we're talking about 140 a week in total. Okay. And a shot at DECA, 100 milligrams a week. That was my 10 year solution to drug intervention <laughs> yeah 100 milligrams a week at deca plus winstrel at 20 milligrams a day does anyone believe that and there's a big difference big discrepancy we're talking uh, he's talking just deca and winstrel now he, he's not even mentioning testosterone which seems strange to me i mean those Compounds like DECA and Winstrol, 20 milligrams a day, and I believe it was 100 milligrams of DECA. Sure, but wh why would testosterone not be in there as well? You'd be completely shut down. I spent, I think, $300 maybe max on each Olympia, drug-wise, that I entered. 300 bucks on each prep. That is probably the most cost-efficient and frugal cycle I have ever heard. Again, the logic just isn't there. But Tom Platt is a different man now. Your solution to drug intervention with Mr. Olympia, as far as steroids. That was it. But it wasn't about the drugs in the old days. It was about the reps and the mentality. Uh, motivational speaker, and he's probably been one of the hardest working bodybuilders uh, in his entire career. He's always been like that, but he's very into motivating other people. So I think what he's really trying to do here is he's trying to push more of the hard work side and most people do this because nobody ever wants to say like hey it was just the drugs but i do find it does a disservice to people who are actually in the know or are trying to do these things or you know they just it kind of gives a false idolization of anabolic steroids because it goes back to the look they only took so little and boom, they blew up and they were better bodybuilders back then. And really, it's probably not true. It wasn't all about the hard work. They did have insane genetics. They did work hard, but they took a little bit more, a lot of bit more. 
than that. So I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna call bullshit on this. And that's it for today, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. But until next time, I am out of here. Ciao.